Hi, welcome to my channel Rubia Stedman. Today I'll be teaching you how to crochet this beautiful scarf. It's very easy to do. I hope you guys like it and give it a try and here is the list of material we're gonna need to make it. If you are not already a subscriber, please subscribe and click on the little bell. That way you get a notification each time I upload a video. Remember, I make my videos in Spanish and English. If you receive a Spanish video and you like it and you want to see it in English, go to the main page of my YouTube channel, there you'll find the English version in there. To make the scarf, this is the yarn I'm going to use. They are from Loops and Thread Impeccable. This one uh, have 100 grams, 175 meters, 100% acrylic, medium 4 and the color is Neapolitan. They suggest a 5 millimeter crochet hook. This one is again the Loops and Thread Impeccable, 100% acrylic, 128 grams or 245 meters. The color is Aran and medium 4 and 5 millimeter they suggest. I'm going to use a 5 millimeter crochet hook and you're going to need tapestry needle and scissors. I started with this yarn and this six strip. Each ball give me three strips, and on each strip I have 50 of those uh, rounds uh, motif. Here is one already finished with the border and everything. I did the circles with this and then the border with this one, and it looked like this. So when you just work this one. It's like this with the circles and I did 50 of these circles and one strip so each strip will have 50 it's nice and long like I mentioned I have done six of these I don't know if I'm gonna need more because I want to attach those six to each other to see if I like that width after you finish doing these pieces You'll work at the border of one entire one of these, like this one is already done completely. And then after that, the next one you'll be attaching this one to that one, the next one to the to this one, and so on. Okay. So I will start showing you how you're gonna do this. And remember, if you do it exactly the same as mine, with uh, two of these, you'll do six of these strips. Okay. We're gonna start with a multicolor yarn. And we're going to do a slip knot. And we're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Yeah, and over, you're going to go to the first chain that you did. And you're going to do four double crochet plus the chain three. It will be five. So the chain three is one. And this one is two. three, four, and number five. And you done half as you circle. Well, it's like an oval. So now you're going to chain three. One, two, and three. You're going to turn your work around. And now we're going to close the top of this oval. And the next double crochet because the first one that you have here, the last one that you did, you have the chain three on top. So you go to the next space and you do a double crochet that you don't gonna finish, you have two. Yarn over, you go to the next one, you're gonna do a double crochet that you don't gonna finish, you have three. Yarn over, you go to the next one, do a double crochet that you don't gonna finish, you have four. And yarn over, you go to the third chain and in the top, you're gonna do that double crochet you have five loops, you're going to close those five loops and you done your first oval. It's more like an oval than a circle. You're going to chain three again, one, two, and three. Yarn over, you're going to go to that space where you close those uh, loops and inside you're going to go through and you're going to do your fourth double crochet inside plus the chain three will be five. So that's two, three, 
4 and 5. You're done, you're half. You're going to chain 3 again, 1, 2, and 3. You turn your work around, and again, you're going to do your double crochet that you don't want to finish. So that's 2 loops, 3 loops, that is 4 loops, and you go to the top of the third chain, and you have your number 5. You're going to close those 5 loops, and it will look like that with your second one done. So I'll show you again. You're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3. Yarn over, and in that loop that you close those stitches, you're going to do your double crochet. So counting the chain, you have 2, 3, 4, and 5. You're going to chain 3, 1, 2, and 3, turn your work around, and you're going to go to that double crochet, the first one that you'll see, because this one, is how you have the chain 3. You have 2 loops, you have 3 loops, you have 4 loops, and you go on top of the third chain, and you have your 5 unfinished double crochet. You're going to close those stitches like that and then you will chain three. So like that you're going to continue doing all your little ovals until you have 50 of them if you want to do them the same length as mine. When you have 50 that you finish like that you will chain one, you cut the yarn and lose all the tails for all the straps. Uh, like I mentioned, I have six of these, and this is medium four yarn. You can use uh, cotton yarn to do this as well, and you can use thinner yarn, but remember if you use thinner yarn, you have to do more of these because uh, they will be uh, smaller. Uh, once you have your six, lose all the tail, and then uh, you'll start working one entire uh, piece like this one okay and then after that when we start working in this one we're gonna attach this chain space in here to the one that we're gonna create in here okay so it's very easy really fast I did this once watching TV <laughs> now we're gonna work all the way around your strap so what you're gonna do is with the accent color, you're going to do a slip knot you're going to come here where you have this strand and you're going to pass that loop through you're going to chain one and you're going to do a single crochet you're going to chain three and you're going to do a single crochet in the same space we're creating here this loop to put, put the fringes okay at the end now you're going to chain eight one two three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. You're going to come to the space where this one finish and the next ones begin. And you're going to do a single crochet. And it will be like this. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight the space between those two and you're going to do your single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight and go to the space in between these two and do your single crochet like that you're going to continue all the way until the end 
at the strip and make sure that these are not twisted when you do yours at the end and this space again you will do the same in the other loop like so to do the fringes in the other side and then you will do the other side and then you'll finish here with a slip stitch cut the yarn lose the tail and then when you start in the next one is when you're going to start attaching them together we're going to start attaching this one to the first one and in this one you're going to start exactly as you did the first strip so you start with the slip knot pass the slip knot through that loop chain one single crochet chain three and then you single crochet in the same space now you're going to chain four one two three and four and you have to make sure that this one the right side is up you can tell by the chain in here that the right side is that one and then you're gonna place wrong side with wrong side and you're gonna do a single crochet and that chain A space you're gonna chain four one two three and four and you're gonna come here to the space in between these two stitches and you're gonna do a single crochet and it will look like this You see how easy this is? <laughs> and really nice and different. So you're gonna chain four again. One, two, three, and four. You go to the chain A space in here and the next motif and you do your single crochet. One, two, three, and four. Go to the next space in here and do your single crochet one two three and four go to the next one single crochet and again one two three and four and go to the next one in between here and do the single crochet like that you're going to continue working all the way until the end and it will look like this look how nice that look and then when we get to the end, I will show you how you're going to turn around and continue in the other side. Okay? I'm going to work in the last one. And again, you're going to chain four. One, two, three, and four. Single crochet in the chain A space. One, two, three, and four. You're going to come to the tip this one and that loop you're gonna do a single crochet one two and three another single crochet in the same space now you're gonna chain eight one two three four five six seven and eight you're gonna come here work your single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Single crochet. Like that, you're going to continue all the way until the end, and you're going to finish with a slip stitch. And like that, you have two attached to each other. Now, when you finish this one, you will start the same as you did this one, attaching the next one. To this one and so on you're gonna attach as many as you want depend on the width you want yours I'm gonna attach these six that I have done and I will measure the entire piece and I will let you know the measurement that way you know my uh, scarves size okay I'm gonna show you how you're gonna finish each time you go to the single crochet that you did to start with and you will do a slip stitch
press your journal, pass your journal through, and then you will lose that tail. I'll pass it to the other side, to the back, that way you can see it much better. You're going to end like that. So you're going to attach the rest of them exactly the same as I just showed you. I finished attaching those six strips and it looked like this. I really love, love this design. I measured my piece and the length is 183 centimeters long for 28 centimeters wide. If you want this wider, what you do is you uh, connect more of this, but for mine it's perfect like this. If you like, you can leave it like this, finish like that, or you can attach some uh, fringes. That that's what I'm going to do to mine. Now for the fringes with the measurement tape, I'm going to measure 36 centimeters. I tried with a 30 centimeter, but I find that it was too short. So I only need to measure one. And then from that one I will cut the rest. That's it. I don't need the measurement tape. So you can put two, three, four strands for your fringes. And what you do from one, you measure the rest. Mine I'm going to do it with four. So I had to cut a few. Two there. I need to cut five. That way I have that extra for the next ones. Just let me cut one more and I will show you how we're going to put them on. Yeah, I have five. Sure that they're all even. I'm gonna fold it in half, and with the right side facing like this up, and this to the end, I'm gonna place my fringes because I did one the other way around, and I don't like it uh, backwards. So you're gonna come here through the chain. 3 space, you're going to pass this, make it nice and big, and like you're doing a chain, you're going to pass it through, you're going to pull, and there you have your fringes. So for me I like it with a 36 centimeter and with 4 strands. I will put them in the rest of the these loops and I will show you the end result. If you like, you can do uh, the fringes with this uh, yarn and these ones together, okay? But I like having them just one color. This is the leftover yarn that I have from the two balls of yarn of this color and this for this bigger one. So with this leftover, I'm going to see if I can make a hat that match the scarf. Well, this is the end result and I really love, love this scarf. That is with one round around your neck. That is the length that you get. If you want to make it bigger, you can do more of those motifs. And instead of 50, you can do more. Don't have to be even number, it can be add numbers. So the length is up to you. It's very simple, easy to do, and it looks amazing. And believe it or not, it's very warm. So I hope you guys like it and give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are not already a subscriber. And if you make this beautiful scarf and you want to send me some t-shirts, you can do it through my Facebook page, Ruby Stedman Crochet, or my Instagram, Ruby Stedman Crochet. Please share my video with friends and family, that way you help me grow here in YouTube. I wish you have a beautiful day. Bye.